the diamond dress. I already crocheted the first part and we start crocheting the second part together. I received this yarn from Durable. It is Durable Coral. It is color antique pink. And I received a crochet of 2.5 mm. Only I will crochet it with a 3 mm yarn, this uh, cotton yarn. Because with a 2.5 mm crochet hook it became a bit too stiff. Please keep in mind that when you have a leftover yarns, put it aside because you always make project for leftover yarns. You will get started with a, f with a foundation double crochet row that makes it stretchy and not stiff when you make a chain and then double crochet on top of it please make sure that you start off with a for example 4 mm crochet hook that way the tension will be the same I will show you now how to do it with a foundation double crochet row let's get started I will put the skein away and we'll get started with a foundation double crochet row. I keep this one because there is my color number on it. I put this one aside and we'll start off with a 3 mm crochet hook. So here's my beginning. I put this aside. So let's get started. First I put a, a loop on my hook. So grab my yarn with my finger, uh, index finger and my thumb and with my ring finger and my middle finger leave this one there put the tail here and the working strand on the other side put your hook underneath and pull up towards you and then twist it around like this all the way around hold it there and then grab your working yarn Move your index finger and your thumb up to the work and pull the loop through. That way you have a chain on your hook or a loop on your hook. I tie it up so that way this stitch won't go anywhere. And then I'll start off with chaining. So chain three. So this is my first, second and third. Then I wrap around and I go back to the first chain not the one on the knot but the chain i go underneath two strands of yarn so underneath two legs of the chain one and there is number two then here it is yes grab the yarn and pull underneath those two through then loosen it don't tie it to tension don't put too tension on it yarn around pull through one loop I've got three loops in my hook hold this stitch here with my finger loosely then yarn around pull through two yarn around pull through two now I've got done my second double crochet on top of it I will show you one more time yarn around and then you go back to the first leg of this double crochet and you go with underneath both strands of yarn from the, the beginning of this double crochet here are the two strands so underneath the v-shaped stitch pick up the yarn and pull through wrap the yarn around again pull through one loop always first to one then two through two and through two now I've got my third double crochet on top of it. Yarn around one more time. Go back to that V-shaped stitch here. Underneath two loops. Put your yarn th hook through. Grab the yarn. And pull through one loop. Underneath the loop. Yarn around, pull through one. Yarn around, pull through two. Yarn around and pull through two. Now I've got four double crochets on top of each other. Yarn around, pull through, yarn around, pull through one, and through two, and through two. And so on and so on. And a multiple of 22 double crochets in a row. So measure up your hair around your waist and divide it by two. 
make sure that the back part is one section smaller than the front part. So for example you have 80 centimeters around your waist, around your hips, then it should be 40 centimeters. So that way you know you have to make sure that one part is one section bigger than that than the back part. The front part is bigger than the back part. So for example uh, 80 centimeters is similar to 5 times 22 from uh, uh, 22 base double crochet row and stitches then you should add up one more so instead of 5 for example you yeah, need 6 and then for the back you need 5 pieces well I'm done here I've got my multiple of 22 foundation double crochets and I'll add up 4 more in order to begin and end at the correct same amount of stitches because you can't end with this pattern in a chain stitch you need to have a double crochet at the end and in the beginning so I will add those four into the foundation double crochet row and then we get started with the first row to make the motifs. Well, I'm done here. Here it is. 22 stitches per motif, per diamond stitch, as they call it. I always chain one and turn. And I start directly in the same space where I ended. So there I make my first double crochet. That way you get a nice edging on the sides. Then chain for the next and repeat this for the next 20 to 1 stitches and then when you're done with your 21 stitches like I just did you started with a chain 1 I made my 21 double crochets and then chain 1 skip 1 stitch double crochet in the next 21 stitches you make 21 double crochets so I'm almost finished here with my 21 double crochets in a row here it is my chain one space here skipped one stitch make my 21 double crochets again chain one and again skip one stitch and then in the next 21 stitch you make each one double crochet here it is first and I'm almost done here and here is my 21st so this much skipped and my chain one st stitch I make my 21 double crochets I will chain one skip one stitch and double crochet in the last stitch chain one and turn if you rather make a chain three that's up to you I rather make a chain one and then turn Directly on top of that uh, double crochet from the previous row, I will make my double crochet here. So you skip the chain one you made and then directly a double crochet. Here it is. And then one double crochet in a chain one space. Now chain one, skip the first double crochet and then the next 19 stitches you make one double crochet so you will have less stitches in this row less double crochet stitches so here's my 19th first row you made 21 and the second row you make 19 you see that the chain one space moves up with one stitch in the beginning and at the end 19 double crochets in row skip one stitch chain one and then double crochet in the chain one space let's get started grab from yarn chain one skip to the chain one space and there you make one double crochet in it again chain one skip the first double crochet and then 19 double crochets in a row almost done and there one more 
here it is. So, I ended the one before the last. I made my last double crochet on top of it. And the last one I don't crochet. Now again, chain one. Go into the chain one space and make your double crochet. Chain one. Skip the double crochet. And 19 double crochets in a row. And then we're at the end. So I'm almost finished here. Make my last stitches in here. There it is. So I made my 19 double crochets. As don't crochet in the last one. Chain one. And then in the chain one space from the previous row you make one double crochet. And in the last stitch make one double crochet. There it is. Third row is done now. So we begin with two double crochets and we end with two double crochets. The next row we will increase again, but where the chain double crochet in the chain one we made, there you go increasing. And the other side you will decrease, sorry. 19 double crochets, chain one, and one double crochet in the chain one space. Here it is. Then chain one, skip one stitch, 19 double crochets in a row, chain one, skip a stitch, and two double crochets in a row. That's one in the chain one space and one at the end. Make sure that it's in the chain one when you work as I do in the chain one stitch you made to turn work around. So you see here, this one here will be increasing and this one will be decreasing with two stitches every row. Here you will go up in the amount of stitches and there you will go down in the amount of stitches. This is 19 plus 1 is 20. This one. That way you know, always come out at the multiple of 20. So, I will show you. Chain 1 and turn. Here it is. Start with the first double crochet stitch in the first stitch. Oh, there it oh, goes wrong sometimes. Here it is. Then in the next one double crochet and one in the chain one space. Now we go decreasing on this particular area. So chain one, skip the first double crochet and then 17 double crochets in a row. Almost at the end here from the first 17. You see? Skipped one stitch here and 17 double crochets in a row and don't crochet in the last one. Now you go increase here. So we chain one, skip the last double crochet and go into the chain one space with one double crochet. That's the first. The second comes on top of the double crochet that stands alone. Here. And the third in the chain one space after it. Now you've got three. Chain one, skip the first double crochet and 17 double crochets in a row. So that is 17 plus three makes 20 double crochets. That way you always know if you're correct or not. Well done here, chain one, one double crochet in a chain one space, one on top of the double crochet, and one in the chain one space. That makes three, chain one, and go to the next section, skip the first stitch, and then 17 double crochets in a row. Oh, it goes wrong here. There it is. Then chain one, Skip the last double crochet and double crochet in the chain one space. Double crochet on top of the last two double crochets. And there it is in the chain turning chain one. You see here? That is the last stitch. Don't forget that one. So that is three double crochets in a row at the beginning and at the end. Chain one. 
chain one and I'll show you what happened. So we started off with three double crochets, chain one, 17 double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, 17 double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, 17 double crochets, chain one, and three double crochets. Fifth row. You see already that this point is going to be increasing here and the other sides. Here you go next row with 5, then 7 double crochets, 9 double crochets, 11 double crochets and so on and so on. And the other points will go work towards each other. So it's 17 now. In the next row you have 15, then 13 the next row you will have 11, 9 and so on and so on up until you're in the point and then you go increasing again like here this one, this one here will be on top of the other one and you get a diamond shaped stitch so this is how you start off and as long as your stitch count is correct so 17 first 3 makes 20 stitches then you're correct to go so one more time I already chain 1 only in this area here you will increase with 1 stitch or decrease with 1 stitch not 2 because it's a half pattern motif so here you have instead of 3 in this row you will have five, 4 in this row first in the first stitch like I already said before there it is one in the next one after and one in the chain 1 space and then you have 4 double crochets in a row then see here 4 now with chain 1 skip the first double crochet of the next part and then make 15 double crochets in a row almost done here here it is so we skip that one and we increase here with one stitch on each side so chain one skip the double and one double crochet in the chain one space one on top of each of the three double crochets so that is four in total three and four and one in the last chain one space that makes five now chain one skip the next double crochet and make 15 double crochets in a row so there's one on top of each double crochet I'm almost done here I will show you you see here five double crochets and a chain one before and after and then 15 double crochets in a row and you skip the first and the last stitch you see already the shaping that you must have this one will be bigger and this one will be smaller at the end so here will be the next row will be seven and there it will be 13 and they equal equals to 20 so next part chain one skip the double and one double crochet in the chain one space one double crochet on top of the three double crochets that makes four three and four and one in the chain one space here chain one skip the next double crochet here and then 15 double crochets in a row that's one and so on almost done here skip the last stitch the last double crochet from the previous row and then we we'll make four double crochets in a row so chain one go into the chain one space and there you make your first double crochet and over the last three stitches you make each one double crochet that makes four double crochets and in the chain one space, chain one you made to turn your work, you will make the last 
double crochet. See how nice edging you will get here? That's how I do it. I love this way. So, it is up to you if you want to change it or not. I'd rather do it like this. So, we start and we end it, end it with 4 double crochets and then 15 double crochets in a row. Here, 5 here. So it's 2 more. And on the other side we have 2 less. So, I will show you one more time about the beginning and the end. This is the next row and you will end off with 5 double crochets in a row instead of 4. So only at the beginning and the end you will increase or decrease with 1 stitch. And in between with the triangles you will increase or decrease with 2 stitches. So, here is this. You see? I started with 5 double crochets, 13, 7 double crochets, 13 double crochets, 7 double crochets, 13 double crochets, and 5 double crochets. You will keep repeating this up until you have one double crochet in the point. Here it is. I ended this row and we are halfway the diamond stitch. Now here's the point, here it increased and here it decreased. Here we will start in the next rows to increase again and here we will decrease up until we reach into a point. So this one decreasing and here we increase like this. So I already made my chain one. I will show you this is the last row of the diamond motif. So I'll show you how we do it. First of all, double crochet stitches up until you reach the single double crochet in the middle. So here I am. One in the double crochet uh, chain one space, then sing a uh, chain one, skip that double crochet. And then into the next stitch you will make a double crochet in, so in the chain one. And then you go along with the next 19 double crochets and one in the chain one space. That makes a total of 21 double crochets in a row, like here. So chain one and then double crochet, 21 double crochets in a row. Here I am in the chain one space, I make my last double crochet. Then chain one, skip the double and in the next chain one space you make the first double crochet of the next 21 stitches up until here. There you make the last double crochet. So 21 double crochets in a row separated by a chain one space in the beginning and at the end. And double crochet in the last stitches. Chain one and this is how it looks like. Isn't it gorgeous? This point is completed here, and this one is the widest point of the diamond stitch. From single crochet to single crochet, uh, chain one to chain one, it should be 21 stitches. And after we will go here decreasing, and at the bigger part will decrease. So, here you start off with a chain double crochet in a chain one. And then again, 3 in the next, 5 in the next, 7 in the next, and so on. Here we will go increasing, so instead of 21 we should have 19, 17, 15, 13, and so on. So here you will increase with 1 stitch, uh, decrease with 1 stitch. So every row you should have 1 double crochet less. So I already chained up one and I turn my work. Here it is. We start off with uh, decreasing on this side here. This one stays straight. You get a half diamond motif here. So here you make one double crochet and then chain one and go on with. 19 double crochets in a row, chain 1, double crochet in a chain 1 space, chain 1, 19, 
and so on and so on. And on the last piece you make one double crochet less. And you end up here. You will chain one, turn, make one less, make your single crochet, three double crochets, single crochet, chain one, sorry. And then this one will be decreased and this one will be increased. Here also increased. Let's go that way and you have half. So I'll finish this part and show you I've got four triangles high for my first part I made. I'll show you. Here it is. I'll stretch it out and I'll pick up the first. You see how long it is. So four long is this one. One, two, and three, and number four. That is the length for my dress. I will finish off the next part and then we will start crocheting two pieces together while using double crochets only. So no needle needed because I hate sewing in ends. I will show you how to do it and hope to see you in the next tutorial and I wish you all the best of luck. Thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel.